Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to Berlin. I am in Berlin where I have just attended the World Money Fair for a couple of days. In fact, I'm going back there tomorrow for one little last hurrah of coin hunting and searching to see what I can find. It's been an incredible couple of days and a really great event. So I wanted to give a bit of a rundown and share my opinions of the fair itself and whether or not it might be something that you would want to go to at some point in your life if you're a coin aficionado. And it's not just for Europeans. This is a world money fair. The clue is in the name. There are mints from all over the world in this convention hall. It is huge. It is massive. It's something I've never seen the like of before, certainly in the coin world. If you've ever been to the London Coin Fair, which is what I think a lot of my UK brethren stackers would probably relate to, it's like the size of this room here on the left-hand side. And then you've got all the rest of it. It's just ginormous. It was an incredible event, not just from its size, but also from the amount of information that's out there, from all of the big mints in the world, which are all in this giant convention hall here, and there's some incredible new products being showcased, and the special editions from the likes of the Perth Mint, and many other mints as well. It really was quite the event. Now, I'm doing a bit of a screen capture video here. I'd love to have filmed a whole bunch of footage at the fair itself, um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I didn't really have time to do that as I had a very busy schedule meeting lots of various different mints and sponsors and just chatting with people. I even met some other YouTubers in the queue for the Perth Mint, which was incredible. And uh, we also linked up with Cobra Stacker and uh, Creative Precious Metals, which was a delight in its own right. It was very, very good to meet them and just speak with the community and get an idea of what people are interested in seeing. And it really is quite eye-opening how much this community is growing and really coming to the fore so really exciting now in terms of whether it's worth going i mean of course you have the travel aspects to consider if you're a coiny if you're someone who really likes coins and wants to find out more about these things i would say have a little mini break go to berlin for a long weekend see the city see the coin fair it's well worth doing it's not the most expensive place in the world to go to and it's certainly worth doing now I want to put a few personal thanks in this video as well to the likes of uh, the Germania Mint who actually did let me film at their stand. I've got a really cool video showing some of their really cool products that I've never really got my hands on before. I'll publish that at some point next week I think. Um, we've also then got loads of other really cool little bits and bobs that were given to me by various different mints and companies. Uh, it's one of the reasons I go out there personally is to meet these companies, meet them, network with them, talk with them. I've done a bunch of different videos on my channel showing coins from different mints, private mints, all around the world. And I always, always, always say to those mints right from the very start, I will only work with people who are nice, who are down to earth, and just want to hear what people think about their products. You know, there are a lot of companies that will just try and get you to tell, tell you what to say and none of the companies that I work with do that. It's really great to meet those people, and in due course over the next coming weeks, we will be sharing a lot of the different organizations that we've linked up with and some of the really cool, innovative, and exciting new products that they've got coming out, which I think is gonna be really fun. So it's been a real blast to come here to Berlin, and uh, the last two days has been, have been, I should say, incredibly busy for me. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna go out and explore the city at night now, and I'm gonna go find myself some nice food and then I'm going to come back to my hotel room and sleep because it's been very busy. And then back to the UK and back to the grind of life again. Unfortunately, going on tour is a fun little thing that I've been able to get away from the busyness of life. But then you get back to it all, don't you? But it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I've got a lot to say about um, various different precious metal things going on. Um, there's a little video I want to make about the Raw Mint that was talked about. I, I, so the Raw Mint were there at the fair. I didn't go and talk to them, and I'll tell you why I didn't really feel like that at some point. I did film, actually, another little video like this with a screen capture where I ended up just moaning about the raw mint, and I decided, no, I just let's focus on the, on the fair itself. The fair is great. If you can go, if you want to go, I'd say just do it. It's an absolute incredible, incredible event. 
So that's it for me. I am going to enjoy my evening and I'm going to find some nice food, as I said, and then have a nice long sleep and then go home tomorrow and get back to it all. We'll be sharing a lot of really cool content over the next couple of weeks. So if you're not subscribed and you want to see what I've been up to, what kind of coins I was able to get and not just was given, but buy as well, then let me know by subscribing and also comment on this video if you've enjoyed. Thanks all to my Backyard Bullion Ramblers who watch to the back end of my videos as always and to the Cool Kids Club, I say fond farewells to you and we'll see you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.